A man is charged in a deadly carjacking and could avoid doing any time behind bars. The victim's family is furious. I think that it's an absolute outrage and it's devastating to my family. New tonight, that family just started a petition asking the governor to step in and take the case out of the county attorney's hands. Our Alan Henry spoke to that family. He is at the courthouse in downtown Minneapolis right now, and he joins us with the latest. Hi, Alan. Hi, Amelia. That's right. The 20 year old is scheduled to be sentenced here for his role in that murder in a little over a month. But before that, the family hopes the plea deal that would give him probation gets pulled. So my cousin's life is only worth probation. Kristen Darris Dory says her cousin Steve Markey was a kind, loving soul. In 2019, he was shot and killed while being carjacked in Northeast Minneapolis. Because they did a phenomenal job investigating and catching the suspects right away. The shooter was 16 at the time, certified as an adult, and is now serving more than 20 years in prison. But his accomplice, Hussein Braveheart, was 15 and was only recently certified as an adult after an appeal to the Minnesota Supreme Court, a process that took four years. We usually don't have an opportunity to see how somebody does when they get the types of services and programs that people recommend that they need. Last month, the Hennepin County attorney told us Braveheart responded to those programs so well, her office offered him a plea deal that would put him on probation instead of behind bars. From everything we know, he'll be in a much worse place coming out of prison. So my thought process was in terms of public safety, that we need to build on uh, what's happened in terms of his successful completion of programming and put him on probation that's carefully supervised. We don't believe in the death penalty. We're not seeking an eye for an eye. We're not seeking a life sentence or throw the book at him. But probation, I feel like, does a disservice to our family, to my cousin's life, and to our entire community. That just doesn't seem right. Markey's family has now started a petition, hoping the governor takes the case out of Moriarty's hands, just like he did earlier this year in the case of Zaria McKeever. We're hoping to follow in their footsteps and get Keith Ellison and Tim Walls to step in and just do this case a little more justice, because it doesn't feel like we're getting that from the Hennepin County Attorney's Office. Our family feels re-victimized by that office at this time. Now, I reached out to the governor's office tonight to see if that is something they are even considering, but so far I haven't heard back yet. And again, a judge is scheduled to decide Braveheart's fate here sometime next month. Amelia? All right. Thank you, Alan.